No one dreams of spending Christmas at the Econolodge in Bridge City, Texas. But four months after the Williams lost their home to Hurricane Harvey, that's exactly where they found themselves. All right, well, who's ready for Christmas? Everybody does. All right. <laughs> All right. This is for uh, my beautiful bride. She only asked for one thing this Christmas. A lot of stuff got destroyed with the storm and the flood and everything. We wanted to uh, replace some of those things lost. It's so fuzzy! <laughs> Terry, Crystal, four kids, two nieces, and four other relatives are one of 10,000 families in Southeast Texas taking part in FEMA's Transitional Shelter Assistance Program. A boat rescued them from their Vider, Texas home on August 30th. I'm usually up about 5, 5.30 in the morning cooking breakfast for everyone, sausage and bacon and gravy and biscuits and eggs, and then we'll eat breakfast and then we'll get up and they'll open their presents. But this year it's kind of different because we don't have a kitchen where I can do that. So. FEMA finally inspected their home and declared it unlivable in October. The government has covered their motel costs since the fall. But unless officials authorize an extension, it expires on January 16th. And FEMA isn't Santa Claus. Kurt Pickering is a spokesman on the ground in Houston. Now, one bit of confusion that often comes up right here is, is um, FEMA's mission is not uh, to put things back the way they were. That's what insurance is for and why people should have insurance. What do you have to say about what FEMA's role should be in their lives and, and what they can do? to get back on their feet. Our role is to get them through the emergency. What the heck does that mean? That means they're in a safe, sanitary, functional home. Aid ranges from shelters and mobile homes to financial compensation. But before you get anything, everything hinges on a 15-minute FEMA home inspection. This is your dining room, sir? Yeah, this was my dining room. Dining room table was there. I moved in the uh, furniture from the deck. Ed Wilsman is one of the lucky 15% of homeowners with flood insurance, but even he hoped FEMA might give him a little help. The microwave was uh, just a countertop? Yeah. That decision rested with the assessment of Wayne Stott, a subcontracted disaster inspector who's been doing this for 17 years. Sometimes he inspects two dozen houses in a day. And that was from prior? That's where a lot of the records I kept for, you know, purchasing a furniture the last couple of years, they're gone. Had a Glenn Miller record that was made before World War II, it's gone. And my father's classical collection, it's gone. Wayne's not an emotional guy. Have I seen all your disaster damages you wanted me to see? Yes. I'll get this uploaded for you today. You'll get a letter from FEMA within 10 days, okay? Frustration with FEMA has been mounting, especially with the housing deadline looming. The agency has extended the shelter assistance program three times already, but it can't definitively answer who will get what help for how much longer. Are you getting calls from families who are afraid they're gonna be on the street? I haven't had any directly, but if the state sees a need, they'll request, and if the need is there, we'll, we'll extend. If you're in the hotel room and you're nervous about that date on the wall, it's it not a while. It can be a, a freak out. Exactly. Yeah. There have been local reports of folks who've lost their access to one of these programs and tried calling FEMA to figure out why. Mm -hmm. And they feel they haven't gotten satisfactory answers or, or any answer at all in some cases. Right. Some people become ineligible and don't agree with it, but simply are under the rules. And I gotta, I gotta concede that up front. We don't wanna put anybody out. Uh, what we need them to do is, is work with us to find a solution to keep them going. I'd like to walk in with an uh, unlimited pile of money and, and, and put everything back the way it was, but you know, I suppose America might be able to do that in any given disaster, but it certainly couldn't do it in all of them. Six and a half to seven feet of water in our house. Yeah, no joke. This was one of the worst flooded areas of Harvey. After a single brief house inspection, FEMA only paid the Williams a fourth of the value of what they lost in what was once a $117,000 home. The Williams family needs the hotel program extension. Were you surprised by how quickly they came in and, and Yes why? and no. I was, 
surprised and it kind of was heartbreaking because we waited a month and a half to, it was like you were waiting for that big, that big punch or that big gift, something big to help you. And then once, but I understood his point. Once he saw that, there was no need really, it, it's done, you know, your house is a loss. What did he tell your family to do? Our task was to hang in there and stay in touch with FEMA and wait for the next step. We're coming up on the deadline right now for the hotel program. What does that mean for your family? It means that, you know, more than likely we'll have to reach out to other family members or come up with a different plan. It has been kind of a comfort and safety blanket knowing FEMA has continued to extend it to allow us more time to try to find out more answers or the next step. I'm gonna hope for the best and that they will, and if not, we will, we will figure out a plan and survive. Lord, we wanna thank you again for another wonderful year, and we are very grateful in Jesus' name, amen.